Play. This is Let Your Voice Be Heard right here on WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem. And we are back. So um, I'm back. I'm I'm here with Selena Hill and Darrell Johnson. I'm going to tell you about why the Patriot Act may be ending forever, um, but it may not. We don't know. Congress is actually in session right now. That's right. They are working on a Sunday. And they are working on a Sunday because they don't work the rest of the year. <laughs> and they put off things until the last possible minute that they can put them off. And then they're like, Oh, my God, we didn't get anything done, and now we have to work on Sunday. So, you know what? If you don't want to work on Sunday, then you should actually do your job the rest of the time you're there. That's my advice for Congress. Anyways, getting back to the actual Patriot Act itself. So, the Patriot Act, and specifically Section 215, which is the section that allows the government to collect a lot of metadata um, on Americans. We had a whole show on that we talked about homegrown terrorism and about the Patriot Act, um, and that was a few weeks back. You should definitely check that show out if you want a bigger, broader explanation of this topic. Um, But at least for now, I wanted to give sort of an update, which is um, the Patriot Act Section 215 has a section in it which is basically called a sunset provision. And what it means is that um, unless the House and the Senate come together and they pass a bill to renew some of these uh, or tweak some of these provisions in this controversial law, that on June 1st, these the government will lose its power to be able to do some of these surveillance techniques that have been so controversial, especially since Edward Snowden leaked that the government was doing all this spying a few years back. So um, lawmakers had initially proposed, uh, the House had passed one bill, um, and that was called the Freedom Act, and we mentioned that, and I had said I personally didn't think it went far enough, um, but, you know, and that I would prefer to see the Patriot Act Section 215 sunset if the lawmakers did didn't do anything, um, but that, you know, if they were going to pass a new bill, I would have preferred it over, you know, them repassing a full authorization of Section 215. So the House passed this bill, and then it went to the Senate, and there's a huge ideological divide going on within the Senate, and it's between, and it actually crosses partisan lines, and there's an article about it in the New York Times this morning. If you're interested, uh, further interested, you should check that out. But basically, you have a group of... um, uh, sorry, you have a group of conservatives that are li- very libertarian, that are very civil libertarian oriented, like the Rand Paul kind of group, and they are siding with a group of liberals who are very civil libertarian oriented, somewhat like myself, um, and they're on one side of this actual ideological debate, and on the other side of this you have the more authoritarian members of Congress um, who, you know, like you have the liberal democratic defense hawks, and they're siding with the more authoritarian members of the GOP, like Mitch McConnell. And so because of this ideological divide within the Senate, they were actually unable to pass the Freedom Act. And so because they did not pass the Freedom Act, the next thing is either they have to try and pass the Freedom Act or they have to try and vote for a full reauthorization of Section 215, which they definitely don't have the votes for. I mean, they hardly had the votes for the Freedom Act because of the ideological divide. So what happens now is if they don't pass any law, then... The Patriot Act sunsets automatically June 1st. And like I said, the government loses its ability. And then it becomes more difficult for them to go back and reauthorize it, especially in today's political climate, because it's two different calculations. It's one thing to pass the Freedom Act, which gives the government some amount of surveillance, allows the government to maintain some amount of surveillance capability, but also sort of reins them in versus passing a full renewal of the Patriot Act, especially in today's climate where you have so many people that are overwhelmingly against the government being able to mass collect data on both the left and on the right. So this is an issue that crosses lines. Uh, In fact, Schiff, um, which Adam Schiff, he is a representative. um, He's a senior Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, and he said it was easier to get lawmakers to support the Freedom Act with its changes to existing law than it would be to reenact the entire Patriot Act if it goes away. And so essentially what he's saying is if we allow the Patriot Act to sunset, there's a good possibility possibility that we're not going to have the political capital in order to be able to reinstate it. Um, and who knows if we're going to be able to reinstate the Freedom Act. Um, now, let's change just to change gears a second. I'm very agitated with President Obama right now. As you know, I like President Obama. I voted for him twice. I agree with him on many issues. But 
I am very disappointed in him on this issue. He had come out apparently and said that it's in our own national security interests to right. be able to, you know, we have Congress has to do this. If he doesn't, we're going to lose capabilities. And because of ISIS, oh, well, he said ISIL and, you know, Al Qaeda and other terrorist groups in the world, like we need these provisions. And like, I'm disappointed with the president over that because, you know, he's a constitutional lawyer. And I think from his he perspective, and he knows better, he knows that this is sort of like a black like it like it's the kind of thing that when they enacted the Fourth Amendment, they wanted to prohibit, which is what's called a general warrant. And I think the president can easily say, you know what, we can get a warrant if we think somebody is, you know, we have other provisions and other tools in our tool bag that that have better protections that uh, I'm sorry, better constitutional protections for individual liberties. And I'm so disappointed that he's taking this position that we need the Freedom Act or we need to reauthorize the Patriot Act, especially when when you ask the government about these, the use of like the lone wolf provision, one of the things they want reauthorized, they've never used it. Mm. They've never used it. Um, the roving wiretap thing is very, very rarely used. So the provisions or the quote unquote tools in the tool bag that the president is asking Congress to reauthorize and that some more authoritarian people think we need to protect ourselves, um, like they're not very often used. And they haven't prevented anything. Right. Like, I mean, well, you never know, Alyssa. They might just find that one person out of the millions of data of phone records that they're collecting, they might just find something and they they might just uh, 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 um, find something that will protect us. But, you know, I'm being facetious, but I also want to say that what about the, the speculation that they have stopped certain things, but they just haven't publicized it? You know, it's the U.S. government. It's, well, the, now it's the NSA. They shouldn't be that transparent with everything when it comes to security. Maybe Obama's saying it for a valid reason, and he just can't explain why. No, I, I, I think that's a good point. I mean, but then again, like, on the other hand of that is they, a government has actually come out and said we've never used this <laughs> lone wolf provision. <laughs> so it's like they're affirmatively saying that they're not saying we've never used other provisions, but right. like, like at least with respect to like the lone wolf provision they're coming out and saying we've never used it so it's like you're saying you need it but you've never used it so then why do you need it um but just to give a you know to get wrapped up before we um end our show for the day and then obviously we'll be back on next sunday um like Schiff goes further to say, like, there's only one way out of this box, which is the Senate. The only way to solve this issue today, essentially, is for the Senate to pass the House bill because the House is in no mood to try and bail the Senate out. Um, and so and the, the if the Senate doesn't have enough votes even for the Freedom Act, they're not going to have enough votes to fully reauthorize the Patriot Act. So essentially what Schiff is saying, which is if we want to kind of salvage some of this and allow the government to retain some capabilities, but not the full capabilities and sort of start to rein in the NSA a little bit like the only way we could do that potentially and not to you know go against our national security interests is to pass the Freedom Act and he basically goes as far to say is that House lawmakers are not going to um, you know come up with enough votes in order to go forward with passing anything else and so he and then also you have also Senator Rand Paul saying oh yeah that's that what I want to mention filibuster this oh, and yeah. he's going to run the clock out and he you know, definitely is because he is running for president I don't you go Rand Paul I don't agree with Rand Paul on <laughs> really on everything <laughs> but, but this one but on do. this issue yeah. um, I stand with Rand I know some of my friends uh, who are listening who are very libertarian minded would be happy to hear me say that so Jay if you're listening I'm standing with Rand is, on this is one. that a slogan I stand with Rand <laughs> yes. That's Catchy. his campaign slogan. Stand with Rand. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> um, and literally, because when you do a filibuster, yeah. you have to stand. Well, if you're in Texas, right? You can't even touch the podium. Oh, wow. You know, when Wendy Davis did her filibuster, yes. you remember that? It was, like, hours, like 13 hours. It was like 13 hours. She couldn't even stop to go to the bathroom. You don't actually have to do that in federal government anymore, although I th- would like to see that. But um, You, you want to see them tortured, Alyssa. Like, that's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> no, I want them to actually see them, like, do their job um, and, like, do a real filibuster like they used to. On that note, unfortunately, we have to go to break, but we... We, um, we glad we're breaking and closing yeah, the we're show. We're breaking it. We're closing out. We're glad to have spent the last two hours with you, and we will see you next week. Definitely. And until then, subscribe to our podcast on iTunes at LYVBH Radio. Also, you can check out our website, LYVBH.com. Thank you again, Darrell Jazz Johnson, for joining us here in the studio, and we'll see you next week.